Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is September the 22nd, 2022. Yeah, Micron got downgraded. Plain and simple. I mean, a lot of the Wall Street analysts are turning around and revising their price target and price recommendations for Micron. Like, really? All you had to do is come and look at the price chart and see that, yeah, you might want to come in and revise your price targets down lower. And you guys can see, even in my price prediction, which I created in Micron on the 15th of August, completely went against what I expected a market to do. Micron is completely dead, completely dead. So I'm going to show you all what to expect now. So keep it locked in here for real to see how I am able to do predictive content in the stock market without causing any confusion, without all of the informational overload that is being construed on so, so, so many social media platforms and on television and everywhere you look, everyone has an opinion. But one thing that we can do to make sure that if the opinions of these other individuals are accurate is look at the chart, right? So if anyone is trying to tell us that Micron is a buy, they need to come and convince us off of the price chart because the market is telling us something totally different in Micron. If it was a buy, the market would not be in this downturn. Like clearly, visually, we can see that this is not a stock that you want to buy right now. Now, how can I play this? I did this last price prediction first. So let me show you all how we can learn how to minimize losses because you're not going to get every price prediction correct. You're not. So in those events that you don't get them correct, you need to know when you might want to jump ship before the ship takes you down underwater. Take a look at this. You guys can see that I was going to continue to be bullish or at least looking for Micron to go higher as long as it held this $56 price. I was there. So even though from out the gate price in Micron completely fell, I was like, all right, cool, I get it. But I'm prepared to see the market in Micron at least come down to around 56. That's where I'm at. And you guys can see the market in Micron came and held that $56 price from August the 30th all the way until September the 12th. So even though your mentality would have been shocked thinking that I can't believe this, the market is going down. I can't hold on much longer. I need to cut the play. I need to let it go. This is why you need to come in with a plan. We gave the market opportunity to allow us to see itself, bring itself back up. OK, and we saw that happen here. Market in Micron came back up. It tried there. The buyers tried there. So we was like, all right, cool. But it came back down immediately the next day. So your mind would have said, all right, cool. Even though I saw the market lift right here on the 25th of August, the 26th price came right back down, right back down. So in order, you have to be nimble in your thinking and digest what the market is giving us on a day to day basis. That day, August the 26th, you should have leaned more towards, OK, the market is not maintaining that bullish move that it did the prior day. The market is still trending weak. You could have left the market then on August the 26th. You could have left then because that was even more confirmation on top of this down move occurring. We saw the market lift, but then the next day came all the way back down. That was another confirmation that the price is weak. So you could have left on this particular day and had 11 and percent loss, right? But for me, we had support at 56. So the market came down, hovered around 56, but then it broke. And you guys can tell, zooming out of this price chart, the moment that we saw Micron break this trend line. Look at this. This trend started all the way back in 2016 in Micron. So from 2016 all the way until 2022, this market in Micron was bullish. It was trending higher. When you see a price break a trend that has been established for six years, we need to talk. We really need to come in and reevaluate if this market in Micron is a buy or not. And don't look at this stock. Don't even think about buying it until we find buyers entering this price area again. Okay. So 
since I didn't get that correct, this is where you will want it to get out the market right here on, on the 13th of September at least. Okay. So that would have been a loss around 17 and a quarter, 17.35. If you were to get out yesterday in the market booth, you would be down almost 23. Okay. Now, let's talk though. Okay. Because this trend is broken in my crime. Let's keep it real. Considering this trend line being broken in Micron, we now need to see where could price go. Okay. First area is going to be right around here. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that. And let's look at this on the monthly chart. And we need to try to determine here where are the buyers okay now ultimately we may see the market in micron run to now i know a lot of people don't want to hear this i know a lot of your fundamental analysis your price evaluations doesn't see micron running down to 35 dollars. it may even be down to 30 in the grand scheme of things okay but we're going to stair step our way down okay we're clearly in a downturn into the market in Micron. Look at this on the three months, okay? So from a three months perspective, we got eight days and nine hours left, but for real, this is massively weak. And it goes in combination with half of the prior three months. So the first half of this year has been completely bearish into the market in Micron. Now looking at this from a three months basis, You guys can see that this horizontal line that I've created takes us all the way back to where the high came in on July the 3rd, 1995. See that? 1995. So that's a pretty good spot. See this on the six months. Okay. So six months chart. So what is that? It doesn't look good though. It doesn't look good. I can see it running down to forty dollars too. What do you all think? So let me do this. I'm going to look for the price in Micron to continue to go lower um, outside of price breaking above, I would say either $61, definitely no higher than $64. We're going to look for the price in Micron to dip to go lower. So just like I did last time, um, even though the price a micro on my last price prediction went down i'm going to get the market opportunity because even if i see the price go up i'm going to at least allow the market to hit that 64 dollars price before i actually change my idea as to okay yeah the market in micron is going to continue to go higher now my price targets though you guys can already see the first one it's going to be right there around 48 so there's only three dollars away or two dollars away from where the market currently is in micron i can see it trying to hit this 44 40 45 dollar price that's gonna be my second price target so that's 10 percent movement to the downside the first one for us to hit 48 is only 4.3 for us to go to 45 that is going to be around 9.86 
and my third one is going to be around 40. All right. So this is it. Let me bring this down a little bit lower to like 60. So very wide range, right? Now we've seen prices in Micron go down for a while. So we've seen price lose value when it was trading at $65 in August to where it is now of 22 and three quarters of a percent. So, I mean, now I wouldn't be surprised to see the market begin to go up in Micron. I wouldn't be surprised because seeing price go down continually, you, you need to see some more buyers come into the market and try to trick a lot of people into thinking that this stock is going to go back up. Okay, you guys see we got earnings coming up towards the ending of this month. So I would expect the market to possibly try to give us some lift in price. So let's don't get caught off guard on that. You really want to look at this market in Micron on a longer term perspective because this is where you're really seeing the market weakness coming in. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I want you all to go ahead and drop me your idea though. And tell me, what do you think the price is about to do in a micron? I'm done. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.